first one is the, we'll start in the middle randomly. The complex oscillator is an arrangement of one oscillator that is a modulation source for the other, and and then the other um, has a complex wave shaper that allows the sound to, to go from, uh, the first one is the complex oscillator, which is a, an arrangement of a modulation oscillator paired together with a primary or audio oscillator that starts with a basic sine wave and then through a, a fairly complex wave shaper allows the mix into other wave shapes including square saw and a double frequency saw but also the lower order modulation which is something similar to uh, or it's a, a wave folder, similar to uh, a certain wave multiplier or a temper circuit. And then the modulation oscillator can either FM or AM that oscillator. The second oscillator is the harmonic oscillator, which is the same triangle core discrete transistor base oscillator as this one, but with a, in addition to the, the triangle square and saw outputs, has a wave shaper that has each of the first eight harmonics as sine wave. So the original uh, root frequency and then that frequency times two, times three, times four, etc., up to eight. And a voltage controlled mixer that allows, allows some techniques for blending those harmonics together, including sliders on the front, individual CV inputs for controlling each harmonic, and controls to sweep across and open up multiple harmonics within the system. Using this, using this voltage controlled mixer it's possible to create some of the the tones that we'd expect from a combination of an oscillator and uh, a filter the next module that I'd like to talk about is the voltage multi-stage, which is at the core an eight-stage analog sequencer with a dedicated sawtooth oscillator as a clock. The the falling saw wave it comes out of the of an output labeled ref, which can be used like a decay phase only envelope generator paired to the sequencer. The the gate output. <laughs> the uh, the gate output when in the when the switches in the on, uh, switches are in the on mode the gate output will play for the first third of the length of the of the falling ramp when the switch is in the off mode, the gate doesn't play at all and the CV doesn't update. And when the switch is in the slide mode, the gate plays for the entire length of the stage and the voltage cross fades from where the, vo the last stage voltage was to where the next, this current one is over the entire length of the stage. What that allows, the module can be used as a multi-stage envelope generator with any stage as a sustain and also it been plugged into the sustain input when any stage is plugged into the enable input then it can be a sequencer that only plays during the time that a key is down and waits when the key isn't down also any stage can be set to reset to any other stage, so actually the sequence can be between any two with any stages 
acting as stepped and any stage is acting as sloped. Uh, what else? And if the throw of input is, is held, then it can be addressed in analog. Finally, oh not finally, almost finally, the dual four pole, which is a high pass filter followed by a low pass filter, all discrete transistors based on the core of the, the Buchla 191, which is a very rare filter from the 60s. And configured to, to it has both both sides have two reversing attenuators, so a, a one voltage could be plugged in to to both sides with the controls up, and another one plugged into both sides, one down and one up, allowing it to be treated as a bandpass filter with sweepable center frequency and bandwidth. Voltage controlled resonance on both sides. And finally, the amplitude and tone controller, which is a uh, an all discrete transistor VCA with separate exponential and linear control inputs with fully reversing attenuators on both and uh, an entirely discrete low pass filter um, based on a vectoral control element. Using this sounds, all of the sounds that we expect from the um, low pass gate circuits can be had, as well as any sort of address of the, the VCA from exponential input, from, from linear input, or any combination of the two up and down. Plus, because of the because of the, the separate control input for for the filter cutoff and the VCA control, in addition to all of the low pass gate type sounds being possible, a lot more is possible as well. And of course, well not of course, but we've also added resonance to the equation with rather um, complete distortion. So, by balancing the, uh, the input level with the resonance level, any sort of sound we might expect from an MS-20 filter or something like that could be achieved. So, Finally, using the um, using many of the sounds you might hear from uh, a like this can be done by programming the slides and the, the gates. 